Hey guys, it's Em, welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be a lip swatch video on the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick. So I will be swatching all of them on my arm and on my lips and I will be letting you know what are my thoughts at the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. has thin shades. There's only eight available in Canada. I had some help actually from a lovely subscriber, so thank you Rebecca for the two missing shades. And three of those shades were sent to me by uh, Maybelline, so just putting that out there doesn't affect my opinion, obviously. I think Maybelline did a pretty awesome job with the uh, color range, just because there's something for absolutely anyone. Like there's a warm tone nude, a cool tone, well more cool tone nude, there's a darker nude that I know everyone loved that one. There's like nice pinks, everyday colors, there's some bright coral. So absolutely love the color range. I think the formula is so good too for the drugstore. It's pretty impressive. I do have to say I do have to exfoliate my lips to make sure that over time it doesn't uh, emphasize any uh, dry patches. But that's pretty much the case for uh, most matte lipstick anyway. I love that they go on so creamy and so pigmented. They're so worth the money in my opinion. My favorite everyday shade would probably have to be uh, Lust for Blush, which I've been wearing so much actually. And the other one that I would have to mention for a bold shade would have to be Divine One. Sadly, this is one of the shades that aren't available in Canada, so if you can get your hands on that one, I highly recommend it. It's so beautiful too. Plus, a special mention to this color, which is absolutely beautiful. This is the Craving Coral one, which makes me crave summer a lot. <laughs> I think the two shades that emphasize the most uh, dry patches or fine line on your lips would have to be the lightest shade, which is the Nude Embrace, and the one I'm wearing right now, this one is in Ravishing Rose. I feel like these two tend to emphasize more, which kind of makes sense because there are the two lightest shades. Formula-wise, I have to admit these are pretty unique. I can't find something that is exactly the same 
or at least feels exactly the same on my lips. The closest one would probably have to be like the Milani matte lipsticks because they go on creamy, yet they don't really have to dry down to a matte finish. They kind of already are. Really comfortable on the lips. They do tend to last on me pretty much like five, six hours just because I would usually eat. So at that point, I would have to reapply anyway, but they do reapply pretty nicely over each other. I will do a comparison video like half and half my lips with the Milani matte lipstick so you can see the difference. So until you eat, they won't move around. I haven't had any issue with them smudging or uh, feathering on me and you can easily reapply another layer. The two colors that go on the most sheer would have to be the one that I'm wearing right now. This is Mesmerizing Magenta and the Ravishing Rose. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you like lip swatch videos, don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done and I will see you in my next video. Bye.